Good afternoon. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Joseph Taylor here at Homeschooling Daddies. Hey, just want to let you know that we just got finished with our school day today and we are getting ready to head out to the Anne Frank um, yeah, Museum exhibit thing in downtown Seattle. So, why don't you come along and join us on this little adventure? It should be fun, alright? So, I'll meet you in Seattle. Joseph here. Hey, we just got back recently from the Anne Frank exhibit at the Seattle Holocaust Museum. It was quite interesting. We weren't allowed to film in there, which I thought we weren't going to be able to. Um, so I went ahead and did a footage of Zachary outside of it. There was a lot of traffic and I don't have a mic on this camera. I was actually using this camera, so I'm not sure how it's going to pick up the sound with the buses and sirens and everything. So I really hope that you could hear him because he was really moved by the exhibit. The exhibit personally wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it was still an emotional experience. Um, they didn't have the actual diary. Um, apparently it's in Amsterdam or Frankfurt, one of those locations. And so, um, but they, they had like a mock diary, one that was exactly like it with her writing in there and everything. So it's quite interesting. I'm really glad that we did it and that he had the opportunity to experience that because he did walk away with some extra knowledge that he didn't learn here in, in homeschool and actually some stuff I didn't even know either. But, um, but yeah, it was a really awesome experience and I'm going to show you what I have right now. Um, again, I do hope that you can hear him because, oh my goodness, his responses were like actually kind of moving. So, um, so yeah, so here we go. All right. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye. So what did you think of the exhibit center? It was awesome. So what did you learn? I learned about how I didn't I kinda like got to touch a typewriter, got to touch the field of Jewish star. And I can imagine how horrible that would be having to wear that every day. Just because because the Nazis and Hitler just wanted that to be a badge of shame. Right. But, but, but really, the Jews wore that proudly. And they wore it like, they wore it like they couldn't live without it. Right. Because that's just like giving them more for their religion. Right. And what about like the diary? I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Even I, though it was a replica, you still thought it was cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you find anything else interesting? Well, I, the dagger was kind of cool, but not for its use. But I thought it was cool because the handle markings. Because it's an antique. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't think it was cool because it hurt people. <laughs> Doggy. Well, but I didn't think it was cool because it hurt would kill people, and it, and people could just pick that up and use it for a lot of harm. But I thought it was cool because it was an antique thing. All right. Jewish stars, the shoes, and of concentration, concentration. What did you think of that, of the display with the shoes and 
yeah, the that was, toothbrush and the suitcase. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Cool. I never thought that I would ever see something like that. Yeah, and where was it from? It was from like all those belongings to dead people. From where? Do you remember the name of the camp? The concentration camp? Auschwitz. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sad though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you take away from this experience? Huh? What's the, what's the main thing that you've learned from this experience? Is that, well, I learned that, 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 like, I learned that it's not, I learned that it's like really sad when people are getting judged and everything like that. Because the people should have the right to have their own religion. They're, but like, people shouldn't be stepping up and getting armies to go and kill and enslave all Jews and everyone who's around. Or anybody that's different or yeah, or a minority or something. Yeah, it's mm. not it's not nice to go ahead and kill and steal and take their belongings, not allowing them to take it to the camp, and then just giving all that stuff that's worth money to Hitler and giving right. everything to him, all the valuables. They should they should just allow them to be different. It's okay to be different. Right. And what about what's your thought about all the what's your thought about all the millions of people that Hitler killed? Not okay. Just definitely not okay. Not okay? Yeah, I think it's really mean. That's just... Does that's, it make you sad? Yeah, it makes me sad and it's kind of being a jerk too. Right. What about the way that he killed him? Well, the way that he killed definitely not okay. And I mean like it's... It, that's just really mean. Like the way that he killed... Like the... Like the... Sometimes... And especially... Like there's labor camps where you'll you'll go and enslave people, and then there's ones where he'll just hold them and they back, and then but if they try to break out, he'll kill them. He'll right. have the Nazis kill them, and then and then the way that and the way that there's just camps where he just sends them over to be shot or gassed. Yeah. Or starved or what the, whatever he does, right. it's not okay. And and enslaved for the enslaving is high, most mean of all. I kind of think because if they don't do a good enough job, then he'll just have the Nazis put them down on their knees and then shoot them in the head. What do you think about how Anne and her sister died? What do you think about that? Really sad. The way they just caught the disease because they hit their throwing them in the camp and they had to suffer. It's right. not like how the Nazis would usually kill or they would just shoot them in the head where they just die. And they actually, and they actually suffered. Yeah, because they were sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the cold, freezing, and hungry. Do you remember the name of the concentration camp that they died in? Anne and her sister? No. Borgen, Borgen Belsen. Remember? I remember. And that's the most deadly of all. Well, no, that wasn't the most deadly of all. But, um... Do you remember what the general in that camp did to the people that died? Just tossed them out. Whether it be like piles of bodies? Yeah, and he'll just scatter them all over the loop. Yeah. So when the British came and freed the Jews that were in that camp, what did they find when they freed them? The bodies. But Hitler just tried to do it, but destroyed one of the camps to hide, to hide uh, everything, with all the evidence. Um, so I think that camp was called Sor Sorbidor or something like that, the one, the most deadliest in Poland. Yeah. yeah. When the when the war was coming to an end and Hitler knew he was losing, he wanted to make sure to destroy any evidence of his killings, so that was his most deadly camp, and he he took dynamite to it and destroyed the whole thing. You mean like they set all they like they 
they started lighting off dynamite and stuff and started burning down and everything. Mm -hmm. Remember in the movie that we saw? Yeah. Yeah. And then the and then some of the structure that was left from the dynamite, they just used the tanks and started shooting it down and started mm -hmm. blo using blow torches and stuff. And what about what's the second most deadliest concentration camp? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Yeah. But. And that's the one that Anne and her family were sent to, remember? Uh -huh. And that's where her her dad was separated. And then her mom ended up dying there. Remember? Uh -huh. So. So what lesson can you take away from this? Is that you shouldn't judge. Right. No matter what you think about people, you shouldn't just go to go build, building a group of people to go to go running out, dragging people out of their homes and shooting them. Right. It's really, it's really mean. Alright. All right. So was this a great learning experience? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of sad, but you learned something from it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. All right.